The Kenyan Defense Forces continue to gain more ground in Kismayo a week after their heroic beach landing last Friday that wrestled the control of the port city from the Al Shabaab. The Kenyan troops have now taken over the main port and the airport, two main parts of the city where the militants had established their bases. Today, we joined KDF as they carried out their patrols both in the air and on the ground. From above, all looks calm. Hardly can one notice the heavily camouflaged forces with warships manning the waters. We immediately joined the soldiers on ground patrols. The streets were quiet with less movement, with only a few shops open. According to KDF spokesman Kano Cyrus Oguna, a few days ago, Al-Shabaab elements executed six family members who were found celebrating the arrival of the Kenyan forces. Then thereafter, like another two days later, other members of uh, a, certain, a certain estate who were going into a mosque at about 8 o'clock in the evening. A grenade was held in that mosque by somebody who was dressed in a lady's dress. This was about 8.30, going to 8.40 there in the evening. Again, these people had indicated signs that they were happy with the new you know, forces on the ground. Oguna says they will continue to expand the buffer zones as they gain control of more towns, with the Somali National Army troops conducting house-to-house -house searches to flush out rebel remnants suspected to be still lying low in Kismayu. The bulk of the Al-Shabaab might have left town, but there are elements that have been left behind to carry out you know, special operations like suicide bombing, like grenade attacks, like IEDs, and maybe even sniping. So the next big task for Amazon forces to do now is to start a cleaning, you know, cleaning house to house. At the port, all is quiet with heavy surveillance as special forces keep watching. This, we are told, was one of the busiest areas here as the militiamen went about their charcoal business. Well, for the last two decades, this port of Kismayo has been in the hands of the Al-Shabaab. But now, thanks to the Kenya Defense Forces, the people of Kismayo can now enjoy the fruits of this national heritage. Around the port are heaps of charcoal piled together, a clear indication that this was a business hub. And for the first time in over two decades, Kismayo International Airport came back to life. This was one of the main Al-Shabaab command centers, which is now under KDF control. Well, this is Kismayo International Airport, and as you can see, almost everything is dilapidated. From the runways to the tower to each and everything here has been brought down by the Al-Shabaab, who did not want anyone to land in this airport. There have been rumors that the Kenyan troops were supporting a certain clan leader to take over after Somalia has fully been liberated, claims that KDF termed as war propaganda. And I think all of us know that uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions. And we might have worked together with a certain leader or a certain groups, but our working together with them was necessitated by the circumstances at the time. But now that we are here in Kismayu, the agenda that's driving everything is what the people of Kismayu want. And as we left Kismayo, one could clearly sense the people's joy as they are now freed from the bondage of the Al-Shabaab who had banned any luxuries, including watching football, playing music, and even forbade women from wearing bras. Anyone who dared disobey the militants was executed or amputated. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Kismayo, Somalia.